welcome to the experience of evangelistic. And oh, what a wonderful night it was when that precious baby, Jesus Christ, was born. Before today's message starts, this is the time that you can like, share, and start your own watch party with this live stream video. Again, the like and share it and start your own watch party. Let's spread the word of God. Welcome to Sunday Morning Worship Service of Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church, located in Port Wainini, California. Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church is under the direction of Rev. Dr. Torrent K. Niven.
Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Welcome back. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it today. My brothers and sisters, you have something to rejoice for because God woke you up this beautiful Sunday morning. He woke you up and he has given you a brand new day. Matter of fact, he's giving you brand new mercies. And we thank God we're going to take advantage of his brand new mercies and this day today. I'm the Reverend Dr. Torrance K. Nivens, and I'm the senior pastor of Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church located at 125 East Pearl Street in Port Ranimi, California, 93041. I am so excited. Oh, my God. Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I'm full of his word. I am excited to give birth to this word today. And I want to encourage you that you will open up your your mind that you be ready to receive into your soul this extraordinary word that God has given me. This is a three-part series of there is power in your peace. Come on, come on, come on. Say it. There's power in my peace. There's power in my peace. There is power in my peace. Matter of fact, right now, there is power in my peace. My brothers and sisters, we have been through such an ordeal through this entire year, and we have some ups and downs. We've been through some chaotic situations. We lost some loved ones. We lost some possessions. We almost lost our mind, but there is power in our peace. God has kept us through it all, and through the word of God, we're going to see what we possess and what we have going out of 2020 coming out of 2020, going in into 2021. Hear me, beloved, going out, coming out of it, come out, come out, hallelujah, of 2020 going into 2021. God wants us to see in his word what he has given us, what we possess, what we have as a tool, as a mechanism to go further into our journey with him. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. It's a three-part series. Brothers and sisters, we thank you so much for clicking like and sharing this segment, sharing this um, service, brothers and sisters. We want to encourage you to continue to share, 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 and quick click likes and love. We love that too. Um, tell somebody about it. Hold watch parties. We want to continue to ask you to support this ministry. And throughout any time that God has touched your heart to partner with this ministry, partner with EMBC, Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church of Port Wainini, we have the information provided that you can sow a seed into this ministry, that you can bless this ministry. And we pray that God will bless that seed, that he will bless it and that it will be multiplied into your favor, into a bountiful blessings that God will pour into your barns. Hallelujah. We thank you for supporting us and thank you for praying for us and encouraging us and sending us different messages. And we just thank God that you are part of of our lives. Hallelujah. The choir did their thing. Now let's do our thing right now. Make sure you got a piece of paper and a pencil, something to write with, something to make sure that when you leave from here today, this service, this online service, that you'll be able to reflect back to what God has given you through the power of the Holy Ghost. But before we get 
into the word of God. Come on, let's get into prayer. Go ahead and put your prayer request into the prayer box, which is the comic box. Whatever it is, we have a team called the I Got You Squad, the I Got You Ministry, and they make sure that they get you through prayer and intercession and encouraging and encouragement unto you, brothers and sisters. So my I Got You crew, come on, step up. Make sure everybody know who you are. Glory to God today. Hallelujah. Do you believe in the power of prayer? I believe in the power of prayer. I am here because of the power of prayer. I'm here because I had a praying grandmother, a praying mother. I had pray. I have praying aunties and I have a praying family, uncles. I have a praying siblings. Lord, hallelujah. They always reached out to the Lord on my behalf. And I'm here today because of that. And thank God I have a praying wife and praying children. And I am a praying man of God. I don't mind calling on the Lord. I ain't too proud to beg the Lord for help. Hallelujah. He's a big God. He can take it. So go ahead and put your prayer requests in there, brothers and sisters. And we're going to get into prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, we just love you and we thank you for being so good to us. Lord, you've been so kind to us. Lord, you blessed us over and over again. God, we thank you for a brand new day that you have prepared and brand new day that you made. That, Lord, you have covered us and that you have kept us. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah, that you deposit inside of us. Holy Spirit, have your way. We thank you for Yeshua, the Son of God, our Redeemer, our Messiah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua, hallelujah, for sacrificing and giving your life for us, for our sins and our iniquities. And because of your sacrifice, hallelujah, you are the bridge that bridge that gap between us and God. Hallelujah, you are the mediator. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to us, for protecting us from the unseen and seen dangers of the world. Thank Thank you, God, for covering us and giving us the sound mind. And thank you for putting power in our peace. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be victorious in you. We are only victorious through you. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise your holy name. God, we've gone through some tough times dealing with this virus, God, but we're still here. We lost some loved ones, Lord. We lost um, some possessions, God. We got into a little bit of debt because of different situations. But, Lord, we're still here. And so, God, we ask you to have your way. Have your way. Cover in the name of Jesus. Cover. Cover. Hallelujah. Cover, Lord. Cover right now. Glory. Hallelujah. Cover. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Heal. Deliver. Restore. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray over you, loved one. We pray over you, beloved. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, we pray healing into your body. We pray restoration into your soul. Hallelujah. Renewing in your mind. Hallelujah. We receive it, Lord. We receive it from you. We receive it. Hallelujah. We open up. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Lord, you're mighty, you're awesome. Hallelujah, Lord. We don't deserve anything from you, but God, we thank you because it's not about what we deserve, it's what you want for us to have. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, glory, praise your name. Praise your name. Glory. Hallelujah. God, we love you. We thank you. We love you. We thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. We love you. And we thank you. We love you. And we thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. You are the reason for the season. Glory. Hallelujah. You are the reason for the season. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Touch, Lord. Touch. Have your way. Hallelujah. And you sure, amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm so full. Glory, hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Glory, hallelujah. Let's get into this word. Let's get into it, brothers and sisters. Here we go. Here we go. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 8. 
Matthew chapter 8, starting at verse 23. Matthew chapter 8, starting at verse 23. Let's get into this. And I am excited. There is power in your peace. Hallelujah. There's power in your peace. Uh, verse 23, it says from the Message Bible, Matthew chapter 8, starting at verse 23. The word of God says, then he got in a boat, his disciples with him. The next thing that they knew is that they were in a severe storm. Waves um, were crashing into the boat and was sound, and he was sound asleep. They, they roused him, pleading, Master, save us. <laughs> they, 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 they pretty much shook him, woke him up. Master, save us. We're going down. Master, save us. We're going down. Master, save us. Where we're struggling. Where we're, we're going through a hard ordeal here. We need you. Lord, we're dying. We're going down, Lord. Man down. We need you. Jesus uh, reprimanded them. As soon as he away, he reprimanded them. Why are you such cowards? Such faint hearts. Then he stood up and told the wind, be silent. The sea to quiet down. Silence. The sea became smooth as glass. Verse 27 says, the men rubbed their eyes, astonished. What's going on here? Wind and sea come to heal at his command. My God. I want to read something to you. I want to read something else. Also, I want you I want you to look at Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41 from the English Standard Version. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Don't, don't, don't forget that. Matthew was with the Lord. And Matthew said that they pretty much followed him on the boat but mark goes a little bit deep into the communication between the disciples and jesus he said to them let us go across to the other side and leaving the crowd they took with them in the boat took with him in the boat just as he said and other boats were with him and a great windstorm arose and the waves were breaking into the boat so that the boat was already filling but he was in the stern asleep on the cushion and they woke him and said to him teacher do you not care that we are perishing do you not care about me Lord, that i'm struggling of course he does verse 39 says and he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He said to them, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? What a powerful glory to God. What a powerful story. And it is recorded in uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And they have their different accounts. Uh, Matthew comes from his perspective of, of, of the Lord um, showing that um, he's human by sleeping and then he's, he, he's God by stilling the wind, Matthew and Luke also shows the humanity of the Lord, but they also reveal the great power of the Lord when he awakes brothers and sisters. But as you read this, it shows you and it tells us, and the Lord is still revealing to us all these years later, over 2,000 years later, that no matter what you're facing, beloved, no matter what you're going through, there is power in your peace. 
There's power in your peace. Well, what are you saying, preacher? Well, let me try to break it down. No matter what storms of life that are are, are crowding you and no matter what attacks from the enemies are being sent your way and no matter what you think you do have and what you don't have, brothers and sisters, there's power in your peace because there is power in your faith in God. In order to have this kind of peace that I'm talking about, this godly peace, this peace of mind, this this peace of knowing who you are in the Lord, you have to have peace through faith in God. You have to have faith in God. That's 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 the, 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 the nuts and bolts about what this story is pretty much about. In order to have peace, you have to be able to be led by faith. Hallelujah. You have to be led by faith, brothers and sisters. And in order to have power in your peace, here it go. You're going to see here that you have to be able to speak peace. In order to speak peace, you have to speak knowing who you have peace in. You have to be able to speak knowing who you have peace that it comes from. In order to speak peace, you have to be able to walk in peace. Because there's power in your peace. Here we go, here we go, brothers and sisters. Look at what the disciples missed because of the storm. What they miss because they didn't realize about the power in their peace. Look what they missed. Here we go, number one, they forgot the word. They forgot the word. That's why they didn't have power in their peace. Matter of fact, they didn't have power because they had no peace. They missed the word. The Lord told them, Oh my God. The Lord told them, let us go across to the other side. Let me say that again. Matthew doesn't say it. He pretty much alluded that they followed the Lord in the boat. Mark said that the Lord specifically said, let us go to the other side. Now, when the storm showed up, all they heard was the angry winds and they, they heard the sea raging. That's all they heard. And they got spiritual amnesia. They forgot that the Lord himself, hear me, brothers and sisters, the Lord said, let us go to the other side. Meaning that if the Lord Yeshua, the son of God, the ancient of days, hallelujah, the lamb of God, if he said, let us go to the other side, let us go to 2021, that means you're going to get out of 2020. Let me say this again. Let me say this again. The Lord said, let us go to the other side. That means no raging wind, no angry sea was going to stop them from getting to the other side. It may have delayed it. It may have made it a little bit challenging, but they were eventually going to get to the other side. Why do you think that the Lord immediately went to sleep when he got in the boat? Because as soon as the Lord said it, it was established. It was done. They were going to get to the other side no matter how long it took. What has the Lord said in your life right now? What does the word of God say in your life? I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Lo, I'll be with you always. I will lift my eyes unto the hill which come my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. What is the word of God saying to you? What are the promises of the word of God? The Lord has promised that he will be with us always. Let's go to the other side. I'm helping, let me help, I'm helping somebody right now because I'm helping myself. You're going to get to the other side, beloved. But the Lord did not exempt you from trials getting there. <laughs> my God, my God. He said, let us go to the other side. Mark said, you need, you, you need to understand that. That's, this is what they miss. This is what they miss. They miss their moment to stand on the word of God. They missed that because they were so focused about the present danger, they forgot about the past promise. Let us go to 
the other side. Matter of fact, it's, it's also it's a command. The, the Lord commanded them, come on, let's go. Let's go. Because if I tell you that a pandemic is coming, if I tell you that a political war is raging, if I tell you that you have to protest and march in the streets, if I told you what was going to happen on your way to the other side, you won't get in the boat with me. You won't get in the boat. So, so, so I'm just going to command you, let's go, let's ride. Where's my riding, folks? Where's my ride and die, folks, for the Lord? Where's my ride and die, folks, who said, Lord, no matter what, I'm riding with you. Lord, I'm getting in the boat with you. I I I'm going to go to the other side with you. I don't know what's going to happen out here in this sea, on this sea, in this boat, but I'm going to get to the other side with you. Glory, hallelujah. I'm Let me talk to somebody. You're going to the other side, beloved. But it ain't easy. It, it ain't easy. They miss it. They forgot the word of God. Let us go to the other side. The word of Jesus held with them the power to fulfill his own promise. They were certain to arrive safely at the other side, but they forgot what the Lord said because of their circumstances, their current circumstances. What have you forgotten? What promise have you forgotten? I come, I, 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 I came online to remind you right now, the Lord told you to go to the other side with him. We are interrupting Pastor Nivens briefly with this message. Pastor Nivens, the ministerial staff, officers, and the in-town congregation of the Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church wish everyone that hears this message. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. As we remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. You are listening to Pastor Torrance K. Niven of Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church as he delivers this dynamic message at Evangelistic Sunday Morning Worship Service. If you would like to support, partner with, or donate to the ministry, please go to the Evangelistic website at www.evangelisticmcc.com. Walk the crawlers across the bottom of the screen for NBC's complete contact and donation information. Now, back to Dr. Nibbitt. They missed that. They missed the word. Don't miss the word. Get to the other side because the Lord promised it. Who glory? There's peace on the other side, but you have to maintain the peace on this side. Glory, hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Okay, what else did they miss? They, 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 they forgot the word. We, we understand that. They also failed to discern the spiritual nature of the storm. What do you mean, preacher? Let me say it again. They failed to discern the spiritual nature of the storm. They did not know that the, that, 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 also, this storm came with the obstacles of demonic forces. See, the Bible says in Matthew chapter um, 8, verse 28, right after this, the Lord had cast out demons from a possessed man living in a cave. He, he cast out demons in this certain town, this, this, this certain place, and, 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 and the demons asked the Lord if they were able to go somewhere else. And then the Lord said, go ahead and, and go in that swine over there. And they went into the swine and they went off the cliff into that same sea. Into that same sea, brothers and sisters. So the demons on the other side knew that the Lord was coming to give them their eviction papers. Let me help somebody right now. The reason why the the the, the sea in your life, the, the 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 sea is raging in your life, is because the Lord is revealing to the other side of your life that He's coming to fix it. Glory, Hallelujah. He's revealing to 21 that I'm coming to fix it. I'm coming through 2020. I'm coming through a pandemic. I'm coming through all this crazy stuff going right now to fix your life. 
And the other side don't like it because they are happy with you being miserable. They're happy with you being sad. They're happy that you're depressed. They're happy that you feel defeated. And they're going to throw every attack at you while you are trying to cross to the other side. But my brothers and sisters realize who's in the boat with you. My God, my God, my God. What if I told you the reason why you're going through this season of attack is because your other side knows what's coming. And if you get there, it's over. Hey, glory, glory to God. Those demonic forces, those lead that, when he says, what's your name? My, my name or our name is Legion. For as many of us, they're on the other side. They know who's coming. But you know what? The disciples don't realize who's going with them. The demonic forces knows who's coming. But the men of God don't realize who they're going with. Who, my God. The storm is raging in your life. It's because different entities that's coming against you know who's coming with you. You better walk tall. Glory to God. You better walk tall because God is with you. Let me tell you, the Lord automatically went to sleep because he knew that what else is on the other side is no match for him. But get this, we're going to see in this series, the reason why the Lord got mad is because the ones who he's with still have the underdog's mentality. Ah, oh, my God. When are we going to start thinking and acting and living and behaving like the favorite? The champions. Ah. Glory to God. Ah. So number one, number one, number one, they forgot the word of God. Let us. Let, 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 let us. Number two, they failed to discern the spiritual nature of the storm. The storm just didn't occur to be occurring. But the storm, it went from calm to raging because there's a good possibility that the demonic forces on the other side was trying to trouble the water so they would turn around. Oh, my God. And then, and then, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What did they miss? I'm, I'm glad you asked. I'll tell you that they lost confidence in Jesus' care and concern for them. Ah, uh, Lord, I, I've been hit hard this year. Lord, I, 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 I lost, I lost my sweetheart, mother. I lost my mother. I, I watched with my own eyes her transition from this life to the eternal. With my own eyes. I was there to the very end because I couldn't bear to stand to think of the fact that my queen would be in that room all by herself. So I stayed there until they came and got her. Do you not care about me? Do you not care, Lord, that I that I I struggle financially and bills are overdue and the stimulus check came once, and then it seems like um, people are counting on me, and I can't even count on myself. Lord, do you not care? That's what the disciples. We're alluding to, you, you, how can you sleep in the midst of chaos, in the midst of chaos going on in our world? How can you sleep? How can you be cool? How 
can you be silent in the midst of a global pandemic? How can you not say nothing when the church buildings have been closed down for close to a year? How can you not do something, God, when I feel like everything is caving in on me? They messed up. They lost the vision because of what they were going through. They forgot that the Lord, the reason why they were with the Lord is because he loved them in spite of their flaws. Do you not care that we perish? This is a basic human problem, brothers and sisters. We, we, we don't believe in God's love for us when we go through our trials and tribulations. It, 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 we, we don't believe that God still thinks about us. We don't think that God cares about our situation, but he does. He does. It's because he knew what you were going to go through. That's why he still got in the boat with you. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. We go through our problems and we act like God has abandoned ship, but it's just because, look, just because God ain't saying nothing doesn't mean he ain't down there. <laughs> He's still there. But God is expecting, expecting that you still remember how much he loves you. And if you did know how much he loved you, you will rebuke that out of your life because you know that the power of God's love gives you the authority and victory over the devil. Glory, hallelujah. And over any storm in your life, they lost perspective that God loves them, I, I know it's hard, but don't lose perspective that God still loves you. This December of 2020, don't lose perspective. He still loves you more than ever going into 2021. They lost confidence in you. Jesus care and concern for them. That's why they ask the question, do you not care that we perish? And then also, number four, they did not understand their role in calming the storm. They didn't understand their role in calming the storm. They failed to see that Jesus was sleeping. He was sleeping to create the opportunity for them for them and for us to function as sons and daughters of God in the world. The Lord means he meant for them to speak peace into that storm. Hallelujah. The Lord went to sleep because he wanted them to be able to stand up to that storm and realize how much power they had in their peace because peace was still in the boat. Glory, hallelujah. Peace was there. And get this, if peace is there in no matter what storm you go through, no matter what sickness you're facing, no matter what attacks you're dealing with, you have access to that peace. Glory to God. You have access. God is still there. You have access. If God is not there, you ain't got no access. But since God is there, you have access to the peace. You have access to no matter what I go through, God is able to see me through. No matter what your experience is, the Lord will fight my battle for me. I am able to speak peace into this storm. There is power in my peace. Speak peace. Just because you speak peace doesn't mean that you're weak. When I say speak peace, when you tell something peace, you're telling something to submit. He told that storm when he woke up, when he said peace, he was telling that storm, submit. Quiet down. Stop all that foolishness. Oh, my God. 
because we go, we're we going to get to the other side no matter how lo loud you get. Hey, ride or die crew, we're going to get to the other side no matter how many attacks are flung our way. They miss the understanding of their role. You have a role in this. You, 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 you have authority in this. You have been given authority by God. You have access to it. We have access to it. Write this in. I have a role in this. <laughs> Glory to God. I have a role in this. While I'm there relying on God, God is looking at me like, what you going to do? You, you just going to sit there and, and wait for me to make a way out of no way, make a way somehow? I can do that. But I've, I've already given you access to the peace that you can create in this storm. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm preaching to myself today. I have given you access to the peace that you can create in this storm. Glory, hallelujah. Because the other side knows what's coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last one, last one, last one. They lost sight of their dominion. They lost sight of their dominion, man's dominion. They did not remember that creation was placed under Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. They forgot that creation was placed under man's dominion from the beginning of time, from the beginning. And that all creation longs and stands on tiptoe with eager anticipation. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. To be set free from the curse of demonic control and released back to man's glorious dominion. The wind and the waves are begging you. Let me say this right now. The winds and the waves are begging you to stand and speak your peace. Oh my God. The winds are raging saying, when are you going to say something to calm this situation? When are you going to speak peace into it? When are you going to speak shalom into it? Speak the power of God. Speak the word of God. How is it you don't have no power and power is still in a boat with you? Oh my God, glory to God. How you can't have no power and in 2020, power still been with you. Power's been with you before the pandemic. Power's been with you during the pandemic. Powers will be with you after the pandemic. Power was the vaccine. Power's always been the vaccine. Glory, hallelujah. The power of God. There is power in your peace. I don't know what you've been through, but I've been through some hard times in this year. But I know that as long as I hold on to God's unchanging hand, God will make a way out of no way. All I got to do is remember, beloved, that it was the Lord who said, Torrance, let's go to the other side. And, and, and I just got to remember that no matter how things get rough in my life, God is going to get me to the other side of this situation. And I just want to tell you is that God is going to get you to the other side of the situation. I know sometimes it seems like it's a little rough to carry. And the load is a little bit too heavy to bear. But beloved, let's get to the other side with the Lord. 
And if the Lord said, let's get to the other side, you have to understand that there's some stuff on the other side that know and it's been informed that you're coming with the Lord. And it's going to do everything to stop you from getting to the other side. But you got to get there, beloved. As long as I'm rolling with the Lord, I'm rolling deep. If I'm rolling with the Lord, I'm rolling with peace, power, joy, and love. I'm rolling with victory. I'm rolling with Mary's baby. I'm rolling with the ancient of days. I'm rolling with surely goodness and mercy. I'm I'm rolling with the Lamb of God. I'm I'm rolling with Jehovah. I'm rolling with Elo. I'm rolling with God Almighty. Because as long as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, if He's with me in a boat, baby, that boat can't sink. No, no. <laughs> I don't care how many holes you put in that boat. I don't care how many waves rock up against that boat. I don't care how many times it tosses and it turns. That boat can't sink because the Lord can't sink. We're going to get to the other side. And I need to realize, brothers and sisters, that no matter how bad things get the lord still loves me as long as the lord loves me i'll be all right folks can hate me all day that's okay the lord loves me i'll be all right hallelujah because god's love lifted me and i need to understand i need to know my role in all this I need to remember that God has given me a role in all this. He's given me a role to stand up and say something, to speak peace into this storm situation. I speak peace right now into it right now. I speak peace into my family. I speak peace into my ministry. I speak peace into my mind. I speak peace in my job. I speak peace in my community. I speak peace in the atmosphere. You better know your role in this journey. And then lastly, I need to realize what the million God has given me. I need to realize that God has given me the ultimate victory. Hallelujah. I have power in the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful power in the blood of the Lamb. Ain't he all right? God is all right. The same God that went up to Golgotha's hill with a cross on his back and he hung on that cross and he did come down. I have the man through him. The same God that when he hung his head and he gave up the ghost and he said, it is finished. I have the man through him. But thank God on the third day when he got up with all power in his hands, he got up with not himself but he got me up in power too it is all right with me i don't know how you feel about it but all i'm doing right now is trying to tell you get to the other side with the lord it'll be all right no matter what we lost no matter what we feel that we don't have as long as you have King Jesus, get to the other side. Continue to have faith and believe in the power of God. Why are you so confident, man of God? I tell you why I'm confident. It's because who's in the boat with me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is in the boat with you. Speak peace because there's power in your peace. Because peace is 
with you. Glory to God. Oh, I don't want to stop. Ah, oh, my God, I don't want to stop. But we got to stop there. We got to stop there. Don't forget who told you about getting to the other side. Don't forget the word. Number two, you 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 have to remember what you have in this storm. You 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 have something that you're capable of doing in this storm because something on the other side just don't want you to get there. And that's the reason because you won't you're gonna dismantle it. Hallelujah. And, and then number three, you have to continue to have confidence that God loves you in spite of this storm. In spite of what you're going through. God's love will never fade away. Number four, uh, you have to understand that you have a role in this. You, you, you have a role. Hang on to your role. Don't the moat your God given role in this in this storm. It's time to shine. And then lastly, uh, you need to understand the divine dominion. Ah, God has given us in this storm that we possess. Whew, thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Have you given your life to Christ? Have you given your life to Christ? Give it to me. I'm going through a storm. I can't see my way. Give it to me right now. They'll speak peace into your storm. That's how you speak peace, actually, into your storm. You give your life up. The storm be like, oh, man. He ain't brought peace into me. He gonna start speaking. She gonna start speaking. Glory to God. Speak. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yeah. And if you have given your life to Christ, maybe you fall in. Peace. Give. Peace. Give. The Lord said, Peace, I give you peace. I give you peace. I give you peace. We who have been saved in the river, we pray for you. We encourage you. Don't quit. Do it now. Do it now. There's a reason why the Lord rebuked and, and, and he got on the disciples after he handled. Their storm. What's in the Lord's storm? Because of the storm knows he can't mess with the Lord. But the storm knows he messed with them. After he dealt with their storm, he wanted them to understand that storms are in our life for a reason. Not for us to be intimidated. But, but actually to see how powerful we are in here. Hallelujah. Storms are meant to be defeated. Hallelujah. And get to That's why no storms last forever. The past year. What's going to be next? your life to Christ. Do okay. We're gonna be in this. <sighs> We're going to New Year with this. Thank you, Lord. There's power in your peace. Once again, the Lord 
Holy Spirit has laid on your heart to give to this ministry. We want to encourage you to give to this ministry. We just thank God for you, the information provided for you. We just thank you once again. God bless you, beloved. You've blessed us tremendous, tremendously, and I know God is blessing you tremendously. I know He is. A lot, a lot of people are going through uh, financial storms. We serve God of abundance. We serve God of abundance. Speak peace into them. Speak peace into them. Understand your world. Understand. You ain't just don't just just put it away. You gonna get to the other side. We gotta go. 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 But I enjoyed you. I enjoyed this uh, first part um, um, series of um, their their power in your peace. And um, we're going to really dig down into this, brothers and sisters. But ooh, that that those five points of what they missed in this thing. Don't miss it in this storm. Don't miss it going out of 2020. Coming into uh, 21, don't miss, don't miss these five things. Don't, don't miss it. Understand, understand. Stand on the world is 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 vital. The promise of God and, and and understand the nature of why is it raging in your life. It's on the other side. Okay, no, don't forget that God loves you. Be confident in that. Be confident. And then understand your role in this. And then lastly, understand how the man of God has given you to Glory to God. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We thank you for everything you've done for us, God. We thank you, God, for putting peace in us. There's power of peace. So, God, we ask you that you continue to be with us and cover us, God, that you continue to have your way. Thank you for crossing with us to the other side. God, we love you and we praise you. We love you and we praise you. We praise you. We praise you. In Yeshua, Jesus Christ, thank God and amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. There's power in your peace. Come on, write it in. Power in my peace. Power in my peace. Power in my peace. Power in my peace. Power, peace. power, 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 power. power. In my peace. Until we meet again, brothers and sisters, once again, I'm Reverend Dr. Torres K. Nimitz of Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church located in Port Wainini, California. God bless you and God be with you. I enjoyed you. Pray that you enjoyed the word. See you again. Shalom. Shalom. You have been enjoying the experience at Evangelistic and listening to Reverend Dr. Torrin K. Nivens, pastor of Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church, located in Point Wainini, California. If you would like to donate, partner with, or support Evangelistic, you can do so online. Go to www.evangelisticmbc.com and click the donate button. Evangelistic live streams all its services. Be sure to catch Hour of Power Prayer and Bible Study on Wednesday night during Wednesday Night Live. Hour of Power Prayer is at 5.30 p.m. Pacific and 8.30 Eastern. Bible Study is at 7 p.m. Pacific and 10 p.m. Eastern. See you again next week at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Sunday morning worship service. The Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church and Pastor Nivens wish everyone a very, very Christmas. Please practice safety during the holiday. Wear your mask, maintain proper social distancing, and again, Merry, Merry Christmas. Follow Evangelistic NBC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe to the Evangelistic NBC channel on YouTube. All messages, videos, teachings, sermons, and material by Evangelistic found online is fully produced and owned by Evangelistic Missionary Baptist Church of Portland, Amy, California.